In this equation, we have ammonium nitrate plus sodium carbonate. This is a double displacement reaction. The ammonium ion and then the sodium ion, they're going to switch places. When we have double displacement reactions and we have these polyatomic ions, these ions that show up on both sides. So we have NH4 here, we have it again here, we have the nitrate, NO3 here and here. We can count those as one things, and that makes it a lot easier to add everything up and to balance. So let's see how that works. We have NH4, we call that the ammonium ion. We have one of those. We have NO3, that's the nitrate ion. One of those, two sodium atoms. And then the carbonate, we have it here, we have it over here. One CO3, one carbonate ion. On the product side, we have the one ammonium ion here times two. So we have two of those, one nitrate, one sodium, and then one carbonate. So it's all very neat, very compact the way we've done it here. Let's take and balance the sodiums first. We'll put a two here. That means we have one times two. That'll give us two sodium atoms. The nitrate, we have one nitrate times two. That'll give us two nitrate ions. All right, what's next? Let's fix the ammonium. We have one here and two here. So we'll put a two in front of the ammonium nitrate. One ammonium times two. That gives us two of those. One nitrate times two. That gives us two of those, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of counting these polyatomic ions is one item if they appear on both sides of the equation. It makes it a lot easier, a lot less prone to error, and it gives you the same answer as if you count each one up individually. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NH4NO3 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.